um, as my mom said, I wasn't the best at communicating the way that most people do. But the connection between a person and an animal is wordless. It's all within the emotion. And um, as a little kid, my mom would take me to the Henry Ford farm, and I'd like to play with the chickens. Um, I recently visited and they have um, uh, canceled their farm program. <coughs> I have a few on exhibit, but not the hands-on that they used to. Um, when I've got my first chicken, um, I, I was going around this um, little farm and I looked at horses. I looked at dogs. I looked at pheasants and pigs and sheep and any kind of critter you could imagine. But I um, saw chickens and I like chickens. They're small and usually quite entertaining. And I saw this little hutch of young chickens about two to six weeks old, little ones, just getting in their first feathers. And the rot was getting picked on, and I pitied it. So that's how I chose my first chicken, Nancy. And I um, raised her up to a hen, and I exhibited her at the fair, where I found out that she was a mixed breed, and she wasn't able to show. I got my first taste of good sportsmanship, and <laughs> I, well, I didn't succeed, but learning what it would take if I was to be a 4-H'er and a true fair goer, and also another lesson was the um, lease for the, the um, animal from that farm was how many months? It was through fair, so it was about six months. Six months. So I get got to new Nancy for six months, and then when the lease was up, she had to go back to the farm. Mm -hmm. And I learned how to say goodbye. And then the next year, I went out to a bird swap or sale and I found Goldie. Girl. She's beautiful. She's beautiful. I'm going to interject a layer. It was actually Discovery Day. Discover Discovery oh, yeah. Day is a, a kickoff day for Oakland County Fair, and some of the clubs will bring animals knowing that newbies um, need an animal. Well, we had actually pre ordered Goldie and the Hubbards were bringing her to Discovery Day specifically well, actually, for a Well, um, there were three pullets, if I remember correctly, and I chose Goldie. Right, out of those three. So pullets are younger hens, and they can be a little bit more spunky. And with my first chicken, too, if you're very high energy and moving and bouncing around constantly, like, me as a high energy young kid, they're more prone to flee. But with me working with the chickens on the Ford farm to my first chicken, Nancy Goldie, I need to learn to calm down and be quiet so that they come near me, which was a big step on my journey to um, becoming me today and being able to handle all kinds of things. And another thing is my first couple of fairs, the poultry barn has hundreds of chickens and they would yell and cackle and that would bother my auditory sensory some. But over the years I got used to it and became more tolerant to sound and the, and the loud noises that would be at a large show barn like And upon getting Goldie, I 
learn what having a companion animal really means. And, um, perseverance, because that first year was wonderful, a lot of first steps, but kind of terrible because a lot of misfortunate things happened. Big Spree Bird, didn't know anything about showmanship, didn't place well, but I persevered. And my third year in 4-H, which was my, which my second year in Goldie, um, if I won county championship, me, as this little kid, um, third year in 4-H, with this little chicken, with one little chicken, and <coughs> I was on top. Um, um, I was right next to these high, big, tall high school kids with lots of knowledge and a barn full of hundreds of chickens. And that really showed that I have the talent to really connect with these birds and to learn. And what did you have to know about a chicken to do that? Yes, chicken? which is another, another thing that I learned with chickens was to learn how to study. I had to memorize this whole book <laughs> to win that competition as a little kid. Since I'm visual and I love reading, I loved it. And my favorite part of this is the pictures. Um, they would hire artists <coughs> to paint pictures of each breed of chicken and ducks and geese in the back, ducks, geese, and turkeys in the back, of the ideal perfect chicken for that breed. And that's why it's called the standard of perfection. All breeders aim for the same goal and the same thing <coughs> is to get a bird that reaches the standard. And Goldie's pretty close. Things that it mentions in the st standard are nice shade boots like this with black with the golden trim, uneven amount of spots, and then a row here, here, and here of the spots. Um, head held high, tail held high, <laughs> Why does she have all those feathers on her feet? Yeah. They're boots. They're amazing. Oh, I've never seen oh, those. Wow. <coughs> Pretty. Tell a little bit about the breed. Um, um, Lily, the breed name is um, um, Diaco, and the color is called Lily Fleur. The apples come in several colors. There's white, self blue, gold neck, mottled, porcelain, black, and then Nile Fleur, which is Goldie's color. And Diacol, D, D means of, and Akol means Akol, because they were bred in Be Akol, Belgium. And they're also called bearded booted bantam because of the fluffy beard and the boots and the bantam sides. Millie Fleurs are also called true bantam because there is no standard size for this bird. A standard bird would be like two to three si times her size, which is a normal chicken size. She's pretty tiny. <laughs> 